Hello friends, welcome to Inside Cycle Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the important topic that is grey zone warfare. Okay. So first, before we discuss further in this video, let me introduce you the video components. First, we will discuss about the context of this video. So that means why we are discussing about this particular topic in today's video. Then what does the grey zone warfare mean? So what is the meaning? Okay. So obviously, according to even our verbal understanding also, there will be black and white. Okay. Between the black and white, there will be a grey area, which covers both black as well as a white. In the same way, grey zone warfare is all about area which covers both war as well as a peace. Okay. Of course, we will discuss further. Then what are the features and examples regarding the grey zone warfare and grey zone warfare, how it look like? And why is this grey zone warfare? It's seen as a separate category of action. Okay. So obviously, nowadays, some of the economically powerful and powerful countries in terms of military, they are deploying this grey zone warfare tactic. That is the reason it is a high time that we have to see this as a separate category as well. Now, let me explain about this grey zone warfare. So as I mentioned earlier, as I mentioned earlier, so grey zone, it falls between the areas of war as well as the peace. Okay, war is completely regular traditional warfare. Okay, if you if you have this four quadrant, if you have a four quadrant, okay, four quadrant like this, traditional warfare, and uh, between the peace and direct warfare, deterrence. Okay, in this quadrant, deterrence means country will have weapons only to discourage others from not attacking that country. And between peace and indirect warfare, it is about competition. Countries will, you know, like uh, go head to head regarding the development, deployment of weapons and developing of weapons, war as well as the indirect, irregular warfare. So traditional warfare, deterrence, competition, irregular warfare. Among all these quadrants, there is, okay, there is an overshadow region. There is a shadow, there is a shadow, there, there is a shadow region overlapping, overlapping this traditional warfare and peace methods this over this you know like overlapping region is known as gray warfare zone okay so gray zone warfare now let's see the context so why uh, we are discussing today the context the relevance of this particular of course today's topic is related to international relations gs paper 2 now let's see recently our foreign affairs ministers our foreign affairs minister so as well as India's chief of defense staff, they mentioned that in separate, uh, you know, like meetings, they mentioned that grey zone warfare is the latest informal warfare. So, in which meeting they mentioned? They mentioned in the Rai Sena dialogue. Actually, Rai Sena dialogue is a security related uh, platform where few countries will be invited and the defense and military related, okay, and uh, security related issues will be discussed over this Rai Sena dialogue. So, now tell me, guys, who is the chief of defense staff? who is the present chief of defense staff. So they mentioned, he mentioned that gray zone warfare is the latest informal warfare. Informal, that means it is not the official warfare. Okay, not the official warfare. So gray zone warfare, it is a middle, like you mentioned, unclear space that is mainly that, uh, that tentatively that is present between the peace as well as the indirect conflict. That means uh, through this uh, gray gray zone gray zone warfare through this a country first try to so try to you know like provoke the opponent and the pro the opponent as a self defense they may they may start the war so such kind of activities generally so what includes the under the gray zone warfare activities such as criminal economic activities influence operations cyber attacks and mercenary operations that means you know like uh, it can be private agencies as well assassinations of the important uh, personals disinformation campaign about the government and government policies and uh, debt traps it may mainly popularly you know like um, there is a popular allegation on china that china is forcing small island countries into the debt traps in the name of the belt and road initiative and economic sanctions okay like uh, america repetitively imposing economic sanctions on countries like iran so all these are the various tools or instruments through which the grey zone warfare is occurs reasons the main reasons for this grey zone warfare is about projection of strength especially when countries are competing to show their strength and to normalize disputed territory claims when a particular this is particularly relevant 
uh, in related to this east china sea and south china sea in east and south china sea there are lot of disputed areas between the china and neighboring countries but china repetitively showing its presence of navy and fighter jets by that china would like to normalize this disputed area so that in future they they will claim that they be, these particular disputed areas belongs to their sovereign territory and features activities like proxy wars also and destabilizing the insurgencies legal legal warfare and all these includes the gray zone warfare experts are calling out that such methods are often employed by parties who have not had access to massive resources or power traditionally that means when a country is you know like when uh, due to various reasons it may be okay maybe they are not good in the traditional warfare or traditional warfare might be very expensive to that country in those kind of conditions they may go for this kind of you know like methods such a, such tactics tactics they can help in gaining advantage over more technically well equipped adversary that means so these are the indirect way through this we can bleed the enemy so that enemy you know like uh, the the damage to the enemy even though they are more developed more tactically advanced the damage to the enemy is very costly best example america's operations in afghanistan taliban always targeted america's in indirect way so here the expert the you know like the expenses or the cost of this operations in afghanistan it was very huge to america that is the reason finally america decided to left afghanistan without achieving anything more or less significant zero okay by the time american forces landed from afghanistan to usa by the time taliban more or less occupied entire territory of afghanistan so that you can understand next so this method it or it got its origins in the cold war era which began at the end of the world war 2 in 1945 and the end of the cold war which led which led to conditions that favor gray zone warfare mainly you know like you might have watched this mission impossible movie okay uh, various operations by both you know like russia and usa and usa and russia on each other okay we we seen in various times us ussr rivalry ideological and economic dominance the knowledge that both parties were armed with nuclear weapons meant direct conflict can be restrained it can be either ideological warfare or economic dominance dominance in the space or spying operations that is the reason if you remember usa uk canada australia new zealand even they established five eyed alliance as well five eyed alliance as well in today's nuclear age the price of the traditional warfare obviously it becoming very high so war is obviously in the present day it is mutually assured damage to the both the parties in this condition indirect warfare is always better what gray zone warfare look like for example chinese military presence in south china sea taiwan is complaining complaining about this issue for last 4 years still chinese military they are you know like declining to step up their operations even us also engaged in similar similar kind of tactics its economic sanctions against china and imposition of duties and chinese import to the usa and uh, the you know like imposing various restrictions on oil rich nations like iran and iraq so these kind of tactics are using by both both powerful countries like usa as well as china next why is gray zone warfare seen as a separate category because it is indirect in nature obviously here the country would like to you know like bleed the adversary so that adversary will react as a part of their self defense so that the action will be escalated so it is like so provoking indirectly in various means so that is the reason we have to treat this in a separate category so what are the reasons for this kind of warfare obviously to project the strength and normalize the disputed territory already we discussed about this and countries which cannot compete in the traditional warfare so in this kind of things so this is the reason uh, this can, this should be considered as separate category and of course it is a very nightmare for uh, you know like management crisis coming out of this kind of warfare is very nightmare to manage next yesterday video question which of the following are true the constitution of india does not mention parliamentary privilege specifically in any article does not mention it is saying of course there may be contempt of house without committing a breach of privilege that it can be possible so second one is right okay parliamentary this you know like privilege not mentioned in the constitution constitution empowered the parliament to enact related to parliamentary privilege today's mcq which of the following was the most important battle in the world war 2 
which of the following is most important battle in the world war 2 main question the first world war left a deep impact on european society and polity examine this is the main question as we reach to the end of this video in today's video we mainly discussed about gray warfare gray zone warfare what is a gray zone warfare and how it is different from the traditional warfare and the modern warfare the reasons for the gray zone warfare and by deploying the gray zone warfare what countries would like to announce and the reasons why they are going for this and uh, instances of china as well as usa using this tactic historically how they started especially we can trace this to end of the cold cold war era time so these are the topics we discussed in this particular video and this is the detailed analysis regarding the gray gray zone warfare thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind